that way, and um, and I'd only heard of the kind of the stereotypical kind of I'd barely heard of that. It was years ago. It was when I was 17. I'm 35 now. Um, so. Um, so I just thought, well, I can't be trans because I'm not like that. Yeah. So I just thought, well, I must be mad. So I better not tell anyone. So, um, so I went in and out of denial for a long time, and I was really, um, I was really concerned with what other people would think, um, and that's really why I, you know, stayed in denial for such a long time. And so when when you when did you what what brought about the thought that kind of made you think actually I am a man and I need to go through this transition. Do you, do you remember what it was, or did there it kind of stick <coughs> up on you? There were various, like, I kind of, I kind of knew at various stages, and I'd just try and suppress it. Um, and I'm an alcoholic, and I haven't drank for, like, over nine years now. Um, and I didn't start drinking because of that, but um, that totally, you know, that really did do an effective job of numbing that, even though that wasn't, yeah. what, you know, the reason I drank. And um, I did go through periods of absolutely knowing that and being like horrified at my situation. And I just think, oh my god, I can't tell anyone. And I just, you know, drink and forget about it and um, and carry on. When you when you finally started to tell people, what were you, you, you know your friends' reactions? Did anyone say, well? Um, well, when I stopped drinking, I, you know, I knew. I mean, it, it was horrible. Every day. I was just like, that's just wrong. It's just wrong. I can't stand it. And um, and yeah. And so when I actually got to the point where I was like, I can't live like this. I have to change it. Um, and I came out. Um, I realised that it was harder for people to get their heads around because um, anyone looking at me would just see what looked like a feminine girl, and they'd be like, what? <laughs> um, so. Um, yeah, I think it was more difficult for some people to get their heads around, but I think mainly um, I was quite lucky, and in the majority, the people who loved me were very, were like, well, if this is the right thing for you, then we're fully on board with this. Um, yeah. That's all we care about. What is it?